The Forza Collection from Citizen has three different watches. Two are Eco Drives. There's a Chronograph and a Three Hand that has a day date. Those are the Eco Drive versions, and then there's an automatic version with a small seconds. I actually have the Chronograph and that Three Hand day date hands on to show you guys. Today we're taking a look at the Three Hand day date with the Aqua Blue dial. These watches are extremely popular for very good reason. They're very affordable and you're getting a lot of specs for the money. I would say today the watch that we're looking at is probably the best everyday watch that Citizen currently offer and it has one of the best dials at the price point. In fact, it has one of the best dials even when you compare it to watches at a much higher price point. So let's flip the camera and take a look at also the smallest out of the trio of watches from the Forza collection from Citizen, the three hand day date Forza Super Titanium. This is the three hand version of the Forza. They're calling this the three hand day date because you do have the day date at the three o'clock position, taking a little bit of that three o'clock index away. Some people are gonna love that, some people are going to hate that. I know a lot of people who love to have the day and the date, uh, and you get that with this watch. This is the smallest Forza. This is 39 millimeters. Compared to the other Forzas that they've released, the chronograph and the automatic version, this is the smallest coming in at 39 millimeters. But there's one thing about this watch that I believe the other watches didn't do as well. This gets a very short lug to lug. 41 millimeters at the case. At the bracelet, it's only about 45 millimeters. That's including the end link. So this is going to fit very good on most wrists. When I did reviews about other watches like the PRX, the PRX gets a lot of complaints from a lot of people. Even though it's a 40 millimeter watch, it wears a lot larger because of its end link and the interaction between the end link and the case. So it wears more like a cuff in certain situations. This watch actually will wear very well on smaller wrists and larger wrists. So that is a win for this watch. It's in super titanium. So what you're getting here is a super titanium watch. Super titanium is basically titanium with an extra hard coating. So it is scratch resistant. This gets polished edges and that's because you do have that super hard coating. It will last, it won't scratch up very easily. I have a super titanium watch on my wrist that I wear pretty often. I'll show you that in just a few minutes. So like I was saying, 39 millimeters in this angular case. You have a very angular case on this watch. A beveled edge all the way around the case and partially polished. So there's a really nice beveled edge that goes along the edge of the case where it interacts with the bracelet. That looks fantastic. And then you have a polished edge on either side of the case. You have a polished bezel. It looks really good. It doesn't look flashy. It's very understated because of the color of the titanium. That goes directly into the bracelet. The bracelet has some polish in it as well. That end link is polished. And then all of the middle areas of the links, because they are one solid link for each one of the links is polished where it meets the other link. It looks really good. And then you have a very traditional clasp here. It is a pressed clasp. However, it is made out of titanium, so it's very lightweight and it looks good. I think these work really well. I wish they would upgrade these a little bit to maybe a scissor that is milled and then they can keep this double push button closure here. But there you go, that's what you're getting with this. And it's really priced in a range where this is still acceptable. You do have uh, just one position of micro adjust and no half link. So I would like to see a half link or maybe one more position of micro adjust. That also would be helpful. But again, considering what you're getting here for the price, I don't think it's all that bad. The dial is where it's at on this watch. Of course, the titanium, the super titanium, that is great. I think that looks really good, but the dial is amazing. You're getting a flat sapphire crystal. Of course, this is a citizen, so you're getting a sapphire crystal. There's anti-reflective coating. That looks great. The handset, fence post hands, those are filled with loom. And of course you have a second hand. It's a needle second hand. I don't believe that has any loom on it, but we will do a loom shot towards the end of the video. You have a black chapter ring with white markings on it. That's a minute track. And then that contrasts the aqua blue dial. You're getting applied indices on the dial and that dial has a texture. It's almost like a snowflake 
leather texture that looks very rich and a lot more expensive than it actually is. That dial is batting way above its price range. These dials look Grand Seiko good at Seiko 5 prices. This is pretty incredible. You have the day date at the three o'clock. No surround around that day date, so it's not really prominent on the dial. Citizen up at the top, right below the 12 o'clock index, big Citizen logo. Right above the six o'clock index, you're getting EcoDrive and Titanium because this is an EcoDrive. It's powered by the 6800, and this is only 10 millimeters thick, so this is a pretty thin watch. You're getting a smaller crown. It's around 5.4 millimeters. It is polished as well, and it is unsigned. So there's a bit of polishing on this watch, but it doesn't really look flashy in any way. I think it looks very subdued. It has a very modern aesthetic, but a very good everyday look, something that you could definitely wear every day with almost anything. This also gets 100 meters of water resistance. You do get a push-pull crown, but the case back is screwed in, and this is giving you 100 meters of water resistance. So this is a true sports watch, something that you could use on a daily basis. It's thin, so you could wear it as a dress watch as well. You have the bracelet, so that dresses it up a little bit as well. So you're getting something that you could definitely use every day, wear every day in almost any situation. I mentioned before I had a Super Titanium watch on my wrist. This is my ProMaster Dive Automatic in Super Titanium. And you can see I wear this pretty often and there are basically no scratches on the bracelet whatsoever. There's not even scratches on the clasp. It looks really, really good for a watch that I've worn for about a year and a half now. It's a very good looking watch and it's kept its condition because of that extra hard coating on the titanium. And there is the three hand day date Forza on my seven and a half inch wrist. Like I was saying, this wears a lot smaller than a traditional integrated bracelet watch because of how that end link interacts with the bracelet. This will fit a much smaller wrist than mine and it wears like a 39 millimeter watch rather than like most other integrated bracelet watches that wear larger than their dimensions. This one actually wears its dimensions as they are. So I would say this wears like a 39 millimeter watch. And you can see the bracelet looks phenomenal phenomenal when you move it around in the light. Those polished edges, that polished bezel gives it a little bit of a dressy feel, but all in all, it looks like a everyday watch that you can wear almost in any situation. Well, there you go. Loom is excellent on this watch. It's much better than you would get from something like the PRX, so I'm very happy about that. All of the indices are pretty decently applied with Loom, and then of course the hands, those are very liberally applied with Loom, so those are actually very bright. I really like this watch. There's a few highlights for me, of course the Super Titanium, but the dial, the dial is where it's at on this watch. It's the reason why most people will buy this watch because when you see it in person, you're going to be struck by that dial because it is beautiful. The texture is great and the overall look and feel of the watch is premium. So the price is $495. I think that is excellent for what you're getting, especially considering the titanium case with the extra hard coating and that amazing dial. This is an EcoDrive watch, so it is solar powered. Keep that in mind if you're not a fan of that. It is a quartz watch. Some people don't like that, but I think this is pretty cool. They also make an automatic version, so if you're not into this, definitely check out the automatic version. I did a video where I featured that watch, the automatic version, so definitely check that out. I'll put a link to that video up above. I also have the chronograph in, the EcoDrive chronograph for review, so I'll be doing a video on that watch. That will be coming out in the following week, so if you're interested in finding out about that watch, definitely subscribe. I'll be dropping a video very shortly about that watch, and I have the Panda version, which I think is the best version and it looks so good. Tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. What do you think about what Citizen are doing, constantly releasing some amazing watches over the past few years, and integrated bracelet watches, they're literally taking over the game with the Sayosa and now the Forza. They've literally just keep on coming out with some amazing, amazing watches and giving you and giving the collectors exactly what they want. Tell me what you think down in the comments below. I wanna hear from you guys. Please also don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon, super helpful for the channel, and I very much appreciate it. Anyway, guys, thank you for logging on. I'll catch you guys in the next video.